Welcome everyone. Today finds me in Dallas, Texas, more specifically at Dealey Plaza, the very location where President John F. Kennedy was assassinated. Now it's kind of a strange day because I'm not able to get on the grassy knoll today because they're apparently filming a movie or a television show or something, but let's take a look at it. As you can see, there are people in period clothing. And as we pan over to the grassy knoll, which is right here, you can see more people in period clothing and also the film crew. Now, I wanted to stand right over there. Last time I was here, I was standing on that post right where that police officer is leaning. And that's where Abraham Zapruder stood when he took his famous movie of the Kennedy assassination. And right there, on the middle of the street, you can see an X. That is where the first shot hit President Kennedy. And look at this. They are now filming. People are waving as if the President's motorcade is coming down the street. Across the way, you see people pretending to film as the president passes by. And there, we missed it, but they just tackled the man with the umbrella. The famous umbrella man. robot car running down the middle of the street so people know where to look. They called action, they shouted out bang bang and people all responded. Really a lot of fun. I wish I knew what this was for. And way over there they have something as well. A lot of people may not be familiar with this but Dealey Plaza is kind of a mirror image. It's sort of a Y shape or a V shape. So what you're seeing over there could actually be filmed and it could pass as a grassy knoll side. I know it's very windy. I hope you can hear me. But while we're getting ready for them to reset, this building behind me is the old Texas School Book Depository. It was from the corner of the sixth floor in that building where Lee Harvey Oswald shot the president. They even chased us further down the street. I'm gonna see if I can uh, show you the, the School Book Depository. It's kind of a bad angle, but it was right up there through that tree branch. That is the window, right there. I'll go across the street later and show you a better view. Now they're kicking us way down to the corner. So quite disappointing. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that movie crew, that film crew, is really trying to take charge here. So I'm going to get anywhere I can and stay a step ahead of them. So right now we are looking from the back of the grassy knoll. So this is behind the grassy knoll. And right across the way, you can see some of our actors. So let's look at this map and get an idea of what this place looks like. We gotta get everyone around. Yeah, we're just, yeah you're good. Oh, for sure. We'll let you know. <laughs> I yeah, thank you. Just trying to understand. So right back there, you see where that tent is set up? That is the famous picket fence, where some people claim that there was a second shooter. I'll see if I can walk a little closer. So this is a railroad bridge that's often referred to as the triple overpass or the triple underpass. Triple underpass makes more sense to me. So this gives us a really good view of all of Dealey Plaza. So the building right over there to the left, 
That is the old school book depository. And it was this corner, second from the top, that corner window is where Lee Harvey Oswald was shooting from. And then as we zoom in, you can see that mark on the pavement. And that is where the fatal shot was fired. Or at least where the president's vehicle was at the time. And everything to the left is the famous grassy knoll. So you can see the people in period clothes once again. This is a really good shot because that road to the left is a road that the presidential motorcade came down. It made a turn right where that black truck is going now. And it came right down the street. Excellent view. Right up there in the far right second window from the top is Lee Harvey Oswald. And then there are people lining either side of the parade route. So if you see that little thing that's shooting down the street, that's for people to look as they're filming. So everybody's looking in the same spot and it kind of simulates if they were watching a car pass by them. Now they're all running, they heard the shot. Now there was a guy who was interviewed by the Warren Commission and he was up here watching. He was an employee of the railroad and he said he saw a puff of smoke and thought that he heard the rifle report come from over that fence. So I'm gonna show you a view of the fence from here and you make up your own mind. As we zoom in, just to the left of that metal traffic sign, you can see the wooden fence. Now, of course, all the trees were probably not as overgrown, but that's where he claimed he saw the puff of smoke. A fair question was asked by a friend of mine who was with me. He said, if you were looking at the president there, and that's where your concentration was, you think you would notice a puff of smoke over here. I know they can do a lot with the magic of film, but it really doesn't look like a very large crowd turned out to see the president. Pretty nice view of all of Dealey Plaza. You can see it's a mirror image on that side of what we see over on this side. This is the side where all the action was. So here is the wooden fence. We're gonna see how far we can go down before they kick us out. And that can let us through. There's a guy dressed like he's in 1963. We're right about there where that tent is. That is where they claim that a possible shooter may have stood. And right behind that white concrete structure is a pillar where Abraham Zapruder shot the famous Zapruder film. Personally, I'm not buying it. I think it was a lone gunman and he just had one lucky day. Well, I'm lucky for most of the world. Imagine the sidewalk is filled with people. I don't know if a gunman shooting from here would go unnoticed. Not very far away. 10, 20, 30 feet. Lots of backstage stuff here. This looks like the banquet table and the food. Once again, this is behind the grass, you know. And right there, there's our fence. At least we're not totally blocked out. We get to see the grassy you knoll, we get to see the street, we get to see the school book depository. So all of the major historical points we're seeing, we're just not able to walk up that grassy you knoll. never been here it's a very close tight confined area it's not a very big distance from the depository to the street I'm just a volunteer yeah give us a donation 
And this is the street. This is the direction the presidential motorcade would have taken. There is our grassy knoll to the right. Let's take a look at this from across the street. I'm going to start at the grassy knoll and pan up to the sniper's nest in the school book depository building. And there's our grassy knoll. And there is the school book depository. And we're looking at this window right there. All right, the film crew left. Now it's our turn to climb around the grassy knoll. And there it is. All right. Now right there, that's the spot. X marks the spot. And if I have a chance, I'm gonna run out there, stand on that X, and show you what it looks like to be standing there looking up at the sniper's nest. Here we are, I'm gonna stand right here. And it's a little overgrown now by trees, but it wasn't on that day. I've been talking about the column Abraham Zapruder stood on. This is it, I'm gonna get up there and we are going to see if we can't capture the same shot he did. Here I am, I'm standing on the vantage point. Man, did he pick a good spot to see the president. Give you an idea, right there is the second X and right over there is the first X. Now there used to be a sign, a big traffic sign right here. And as the president went behind that sign, that's when he was shot. I guess it was the first time he was shot. So the sign would have been right about here, blocking Zapruder's view. And that's why the motorcade went behind the sign. And when it came out, the president was holding his neck. from up there. And this is me, standing where Abraham Zapruder stood. And there is the wooden fence that some people think a shooter may have been. You can see that very, very clearly as well. Highly doubtful someone could have been there and gone unnoticed. All right, we're gonna head over to the other side so we can get the view from the opposite side from where we are, looking at the grassy you knoll. I'm gonna go here, this is where the fatal shot was fired. So this is a gift shop from across the street. There's a gift shop after you visit the museum, the sixth floor museum. I've been to the museum, so this gift shop is run by the museum, but it's different from the one when you exit the museum. But they tell me it's an even bigger gift shop. So let's look and see some of the things they have here. Here are mugs advertising the Sixth Floor Museum. Here are jfk.org buttons with JFK. That's kind of weird. The Texas School Book Depository building. We choose to go to the moon. I have to get postcards from my Patreon sponsors. This is a great place to get them from. Got my postcards. No, I'm on my way. So memorabilia for us. Six years after we're dead. Thanks for joining me on this visit to Dealey Plaza in Dallas, 
Texas. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. If you haven't already, please subscribe and leave your comments down below. And don't forget to ring that bell icon so you know when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark from The Average Me Channel.